everyone, welcome back to Grab Girl Rambles. It's Brian here with a new video. Um, so today I'm just going to be talking briefly about um, my fall semester and um, some goals that I have for the semester. Originally I was going to do like goals for the year, which is something that we do um, in our program when we do our annual review for the previous year. But I'm just going to break them up just to make it easier for myself, make it a little more attainable. Um, so I will start with my courses. This semester I'm taking three courses. The first course that I'm taking is my practicum class. Um, every year we have some kind of practicum. Um, this year is our school-based internship. Um, my program has both a PhD and an EDS program. So in the third year, um, PhD students do a two-day um, practicum in a school, and then the EDS students are usually in their last year, so they do a full-time internship um, in their placements. But this year, I am in a high school. Um, and if you follow me, if you know anything about any of the work that I do, you know that that is very different for me. Um, I tend to do more early childhood, so like three to five years old. And now I'm in a high school. Um, it's fine. I don't have a lot of experience working with adolescents, um, so this is very new to me, but I'm excited. Um, my supervisor actually graduated from my program. Um, which is really nice. So I kind of have that connection like she knows how the program operates um, But it'll be really interesting um, By the time I um, post this video, I would have done two days already um, in my practicum and so far so good but in that class um, we typically um, have assignments related to conducting assessments um, interventions um, consultations so consulting with teachers or other staff um, in the high school I may have some ex I may have some opportunities to consult with students for like peer-to-peer -peer, um, type of programs that we have um, so I'm really looking forward to that the second class that I'm taking I am blanking is neuropsychological assessment so um, this is not a required course. This one is optional, but it's one that I'm really interested in taking. Um, I, I don't have an interest in being a neuropsychologist, but I'm really interested in um, neuropsych assessment and like having that other lens to kind of um, look at assessment. So when someone, when you have like an intake form or something and you have kind of that initial information for someone who's been referred, um, it'll be really interesting to see how um, neuropsychologists kind of approach that, which is a little bit different. It's actually very different um, from, from school psychology for sure. Um, but I think it'll really serve me well uh, in my future work to kind of have that perspective and that knowledge um, and just kind of getting more experience with different type of assessments that um, aren't usually taught in our classes. Um, typically that class is... Um, we work with the psych clinic on campus. Um, I think my professor is still trying to figure out whether or not we'll be able to do that with like COVID and things like that. Um, but that's really cool because, you know, it's real people. We're not just like practicing on, you know, kids who are just like super eager to practice um, assessments. It's like real people and this is real life, um, which I think is really great for learning. So I'm excited about that. And then the third class I'm taking is Introduction to Qualitative Methods in Educational Research. I am so excited about this class um, because in the past my program has um, required us to take um, three stats courses, one of them, the last one being multivariate, um, which is super important, but I'm very interested in qualitative work and before um, they made these changes I would have had to take qualitative as an extra course um, but I have decided to make the little switch and have that one serve as my third stats course, um, which is really exciting because I'm really interested in having a qualitative component to my dissertation. Um, I think qualitative work definitely gets a bad rep, I think mostly because people don't know how to do it. And there's this, um, there's this 
idea that qualitative work isn't it's not rigorous enough it's not because it's not quantitative it's like kind of hard to pin down which is true um but the information that you get from it is really valuable and i think that we're missing a lot just by um kind of rela relying on um, quantitative data um, so i'm really excited to take that class this semester as well in terms of goals goals for the semester i'm gonna i'm just gonna share two academic goals and two personal goals um one academic goal is to um get my apprenticeship approved um so i submitted it to my advisor um august 13th and um the idea is that it will be approved um, in this semester, um, which would be really great because once my advisor approves my apprenticeship, I can prepare um, a manuscript to submit to a journal um, for publication, which would be really exciting. Um, and it's really exciting because my apprenticeship, I really want to use it as like, mine was a very small pilot. I kind of want to use it as a pilot to my dissertation. Um, so having that kind of wrapped up would be really great. Um, and then, um, because I am going to wrap this into semester and not the year, I'm going to say that my second academic goal is to um, establish, build my guidance committee. Um, so my program does like a guidance committee and a dissertation committee. Um, some faculty decide to have their students have two separate committees. Some just have them put one committee that serves the purpose of both. So your guidance committee basically approves your, your course plan, your course sequence for the rest of the program. Um, so um, making sure that the classes I'm taking align with, you know, the program handbook, my competencies, and also just any other um, courses that might want to fit in there. Um, and then the dissertation committee is, you know, your dissertation committee. Um, and so I need to form my committee um, this semester so that I can sit for comps um, in the winter. Um, so approved apprenticeship which I'm also going to have a little sub goal approved apprenticeship and also submit the apprenticeship to a journal and then form my guidance committee um, as of making this video I've already spoken to one faculty member who um, has agreed to be on that committee so I'm very excited about that um, but I do need two other people um, one would be from within my program and another one is TBD and I might have to cold email somebody whose work I'm really interested in and aligned with my own. So we'll see how that goes. And then for my personal goals, um, one of my goals when I started the program was to um, see at least one um, like performance, like performing arts type thing each semester. Um, I love theater. I love musical theater. It is 100% my jam. Like I was a theater kid in high school um, and I got to see one thing before COVID hit my first year. Um, I have no idea what the future looks like with COVID, um, but I, I want to do something similar to that within my own comfort of the pandemic. So whether that's, you know, a lot of places are doing um, like virtual performances. I know that the, um, the Wharton, which is the Center um, for Performing Arts here, I think they're still planning to have a season this year. I don't know what that will look like. I probably won't do that, but do some, do something, see some kind of performing performance something something creative I, I really like that and it kind of you know it fuels me and I love that stuff so it's not a very concrete goal but I know what I mean and that's what matters the second goal is to get back into working out um, I would say that the pandemic 
um, kind of derailed my exercise routine. But if I'm being completely honest, grad school did that. I probably went to two workout classes and I maybe did two um, classes at home went before the pandemic. Um, but before I moved here, I went to cycling like three, four days a week um, in Baltimore. So I'm going to try to get back into that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I moved back in May and the apartment community that I moved to has a fitness room. It is small, but you know, they've got all the, you know, the safety and the cleaning and the blah. Um, and I have access to my parents, both of my parents' Peloton accounts, so I can use some of their, um, some of the classes on Peloton. I just really want to get back into it because it did, it's not even for like a, you know, a weight loss thing. It's just like it felt good and I know it's also going to be one of those things that I'm really going to hate it when I start back up because it's been uh, about two years. Um, but I really love indoor cycling. I really like that. So I really want to get back into that. If I had space and the money, I would probably just get a bike and put it in here, but I don't want to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. My personal ones are creative. I know what that means. And, um, exercise. I'm going to say that I want to do either, I want to do two classes a week. So whether that's like me doing um, like a class in my apartment or um, going over to the fitness center and doing something there, I would really like to be able to do that. So um, that's kind of where I am right now. Um, I'm really looking forward to this, this year, but also this semester. Um, I have a lot of things going on and um, my time is going to be stretched pretty thin, but I think with some of these things being in person, some of them being virtual, I think it'll provide more structure. Well, it definitely will provide more structure than last year where it was just kind of like a free for all. Um, I definitely need that back in my life. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is, um, at the time of recording this, my classes start next week. So my classes start on September 1st um, and I'm probably just gonna do a vlog for the next video um, just a week in the life so um, you'll get to see um, me going to campus and me going to my practicum which is kind of a drive away I will not um, vlog and drive but um, just you know something different so I um, hope you all are having a good uh, August and um, a good strong start to your semester but I'll catch you next time.